Hey guys, Susie here. How are you doing? All right, so today I'm gonna show you how to make digital stickers for your digital products, right? As you, if you've seen any of my other videos, you guys know I love creating digital products, planners, printables, calendars, um, eBooks, online courses, any of that stuff because digital products are so amazingly profitable and they're not like it's, it's not going to take you a year to create them. Um, if you already have an audience, you can create a digital product in a day or two and you can already start making money. So if you need any more tips of what type of digital products to create, there's links down below to those other videos. But in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create um, digital stickers that you can use on your planners and your printables to embellish them and make them look more awesome. All right, so I'm gonna show how to do this in Canva. I do have a course called Printables by Number where I will put in the lesson of how to do this in PowerPoint. That's another um, really powerful program to create printables and I'll show you how to do the printable stickers in PowerPoint in there. But for this tutorial, I'll show you how to do it in Canva and then the images that I'll be creating, the stickers I'll be creating will be in the Printables by Number course. So if you're already a student, you can get access to these um, stickers I'm about to create. Um, I also show in the Printables by Number course where to get more graphics. So graphics that you can use on your own printables to sell and graphics to make your stickers even prettier, right? If you don't wanna start from scratch to create something. Um, all right, I think that's it. Last thing, comment below if you like this tutorial, subscribe, you know, all that stuff, click on the little bell, you guys have heard it all. Um, but comment below if you want to see me create more stickers and what type of stickers, right? That's, it's kind of fun. It's like arts and crafts online, but it's all digital. All right, guys, let's get into it. Here we are in Canva. If you have never heard of Canva, um, there is a link down below. You can try it. I think there's a trial. You can try it for a couple days for free. I think it's 30 days. Um, I do have my affiliate link down below. It's a very powerful program, but for the, the ability to create stickers, you do need Canva Pro because what a sticker is, an online digital sticker is a file that is in the PNG format. So it has a transparent background, which means you can put it on any other worksheet or PDF and it stands out. It doesn't have that like white border like you see here. It's actually a transparent image and I'll show you how this all works. So today we're gonna create this cute little sun, this little sticker saying you're my sunshine, cause you are. And then this one, it looks a little retro and cool. You are my sunshine. Okay, so we're gonna start from scratch how to create these three. I'm gonna go to Canva and click on create a design. I'm gonna make these custom size here, um, around 500 by 500, because they're not enormous. It's more like logo size. You could make it bigger um, if you want higher quality, and then it's just a larger file for people to download um, up to you. I'm just, I just want a square. Okay, create a new design. So here we are with our flat design. We're gonna start with this little sun, right there, the cutie, cute little sun. Okay, so first we're gonna go into elements. I wanna look for a circle. Just want the solid circle. All right, I'm gonna make that a little larger. And then I'm going to get another circle. You can't see it because it's yellow, but I'm gonna make that, what did I use here? Dark black? No, just like the off black. I feel like that looks a little cuter. Two little eyes. Okay, they're not perfectly aligned yet. We're gonna go back to elements and look for a semicircle for the smile. This one works. I'm gonna make that the same color off blackish, like a dark gray. I'm gonna put that there and then oh his eyes are all off center, so that looks let's see. I mean it's, it's a big deal to get the eyes right. Okay, we're gonna make it a little smaller. A little small. That's that's too large. We want you to look cute, okay? And then I'm just gonna make this one smaller, drag it over there, and I'm gonna delete this and just make a copy of this one again, just so that I have them exactly the same size. All right, that looks adorable. Not perfectly the same, but you know, I'm recreating the tutorial. All right, I got my little face, now I need triangles. I didn't wanna use the perfectly, oh, 
what do you call it? Equilateral triangle. I want to use one that's a little off. Where is it? Where's that? Triangle. It's not perfect. The imperfect triangle. Maybe I'll just put triangle. There you go. Singular. I'm going to color it the yellow. I'm going to make it a little smaller. So this is going to take a minute because I'm slowly going to rotate them to go all around. So you guys can see this is going to take a hot minute, but um, I'm going to do it. And then I'm just going to fast forward this section so you don't have to sit here and look at me do this. Okay. So here comes the fast forward. All right, so I made all the little sun beams, sun rays, there you go. Um, but I don't like that they're all exactly the same color, so I'm gonna randomly select a couple and just make them different shades of yellow. Because I just, I love the yellow color. It's just so happy. Okay, a little darker one, there you go. Starting to look a little bit more, it has character here. Okay, so that looks super cute. That's my little sunshine right there. Oh, just slightly different between these two. And um, just so you know, I'll add these templates to the Printables by Number course so that you can, if you like this sun over this sun, then fine, you can have them. Um, all right, next one is, we're gonna take the little element and add some text to it and create that sticker. So what I'm gonna do is duplicate page. I'm gonna select the entire element and right click and say group. So that becomes one little sticker. And then I'm gonna add text to it. I'm gonna to go to the text side of Canva. And I love this playlist um, font that they have. So I'm gonna make that sunshine. And then click down here for the second part. You are my. I'm going to ungroup these so that I can put that there. Let's see, how did I align it? Oh, I actually had lowercase here, so that works way better because then I can have the little you are my sunshine there, add the sun over there. You can decide if you want it to touch the letters or not. Oh, right now I feel like I shouldn't. Okay, and I'm gonna center this. Perfect, you can keep it black if you like that. It looks nice and minimalist. You can add a little glow to the back of sunshine if you go to effects. And how did I do it? Lift, yes, I did it with lift. Was it lift? Was it, it was not neon. Ooh, that could be cool too. Wait, maybe it's, oh, it's a, ah, there you go. It's the shadow. There. Sometimes when you click too many buttons, you figure out something cool. Wait, you are my sunshine, you are my sunshine. You can see this one has a little smaller sun, but looks still really, really cute. Okay, last one we're going to create is this retro one. Looks like a really cool sticker that you put on your minivan and you go to the beach. And we're just going to click on add a new page. And I'm going to, haha, I'm going to go up here and use this semicircle. Scroll down, I just clicked on my computer or my keyboard, control C, and then do control V again to paste it. I'm going to spin that rainbow upside down was okay not the entire thing i will center it copy and paste again you could use the elements up here the icons to help you copy and paste but i just like using my keyboard so here uh where is it duplicate there you go you can click on the little duplicate one and then line that up Click on duplicate again, if that's easier for you. And a little smaller. I think that's enough bows or arches, arches in my rainbow. Looks perfect. Now I'm gonna select colors. Start with nice bright yellow, then our medium yellow. And you can decide if you wanna have it, the warm colors or cooler colors. It's your, it's your creation. 
um, nice and red, and then bright red. Oh, so cute. I kind of like this one more. Hmm. Yeah, I like that a lot. I'm going to add text. Say sunshine. And then the font that I use for this one is called Vintage Modern. So I'm going to go back to this one and type in Vintage Modern. So obviously you can do any type of really beautiful fonts here. I'm going to line it up so it's as large as my rainbow. I like the caps. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that variety. If you switch between lower caps and uppercase, it looks really cool. Um, you are my... Put that at the top. We're definitely going to make that a little smaller and widen it. And then you're going to wonder, okay, how do we make it arch? Under effects, go to curve and then just not that large. Perfect. There you go. Okay, so you can decide if you want this to be black and very minimalist or kind of stand on like that. I like it. I hope you like it too. All right. So here I have recreated the three stickers that I showed you initially. We have them on this side. Again, these stickers and these template files will be in the printables by number course. Um, so you can use them if you're a student. Links below. All right. Now, after you have created your beautiful digital stickers, what do you do now? How do you actually use them? If you are great at creating them, how do you sell them? Um, and what file do you sell them? If you want to actually learn how to sell them, I also cover that in printables by number. But let's download them as PNG files. That's the whole thing that makes them a digital sticker. Um, they have a transparent background. So I'm going to transparent background for all three pages and they're in the PNG file, right? So I'm going to click and download those. Right, I'm going to go unzip them. Just take them out of the folder. And I'll just make a new folder called digital stickers. Put them there. All right, so you can see my digital stickers are there. Now I'm going to show you how to use them. So again, you can use these files that we just created um, anywhere, any kind of photo editing, image editing um, software. Um, I use Canva and PowerPoint to create all my printables. So you can go use these files in PowerPoint, um, or I'm going to show you how to use them in Canva. So here is one of the printables I created. This is also in one of the templates in the printables power pack, which has over 70 different types of templates so that you can use these printable templates to sell or create your own. Anyway, here's one of the templates and I'm going to go into Canva, go to uploads, click upload media, click on device, and then go to my digital stickers and I'm going to select all three and it's going to upload into Canva. So here you can clearly see they have a transparent background where it was a little hard to see it in the folder because they still were on a white backdrop but here you can see they have a transparent background and as you move them around they are not covering anything extra except the image that they are so you can add your little images there oh that is a really cute one I like that that is so adorable all right so you can use these digital stickers that you create on your own printables to embellish them and make them better you can even sell these digital stickers so other people can use them on their PDFs and ebooks and online digital products. Um, so yeah, the, the sky's the limit on creating these beautiful little digital stickers. Again, um, if you need more resources, I do cover how to create the digital stickers in PowerPoint in the Printables by Number course. I'll add these templates to the Printables by Number course. You'll learn how to create printables in the printables by number course and how to sell them as well. You can apply that same selling strategy to digital stickers. Um, and then comment below if you want me to see, if you want 
to see me create any more different types of stickers. That was really fun. And if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm here to help. And I hope you guys liked and enjoyed this tutorial. All right. I'm going to go get some coffee. See you guys in the next video.